Good morning, Billy. We're going to do some acid adjusting. This is where you add a little acid to your different juices to bring them up to the acidity of a lime, a lemon, a grapefruit. And we're doing pineapples today, and we're going to bring them up to limes. Then we're going to make a daiquiri, a mai tai, and with pineapple juice instead of lime juice. Because the pineapple juice is going to taste like limes because we're acid adjusting. Acidified? I don't know the proper term. I think acid adjustment is the proper term. Let's do it. Get a pineapple that's too small. And we're going to just cut this. Cut the top off. And remember, you can... I mean, these are kind of decrepit looking, so... Probably not going to save them. But you could save these. Put them in a little Ziploc. Stick them in the freeze. So then when you're making your jungle birdies, or your whatever, anything with pineapple, you stick those fronds in there and they're good to go. Next, cut the bottom. Oh, good old YouTube, you know? We didn't post last week. Did we post the week before? We, I think we did. YouTube's hard to post. Sometimes you just... The drive is not there, but I gotta do it. Even though I know, you know, YouTube, I get like a, three views. But we don't do it for the views, do we? We do it for the love. Do it for the people. All right, so we have these. These little gems, you can put those in a jar, put them in a container, and fill the container with sugar just so it covers them. Give them a nice muddle, not to like get the juice, but just to kind of extract some, some oils and whatnot. And then, no paper towels? Wipe it on the shorts. And then you wait like a day or two, and you're going to get a nice oleosaccharum. Oleosaccharum is just with like peels. Typically, it's with citrus. Um, if you're using, like, flesh, then it becomes a maceration or some, something like that. I don't know. I don't know the terms. And then you can even save the core and infuse your rum. You could fuse whatever you want. And you can infuse um, rum and stuff with the, the peels, too. There's a ton of flavor there. ton of goodies left over. Can you juice a core? Give a little nibble. Pineapple juice. Now we're gonna juice these? Yeah! Oh, fresh. Oh. Oh. That pineapple gave us not that much stuff, but now we're gonna measure it out to figure out how much citric acid we want. So we're gonna go to grams. And now pour this in, see how much we got. Should probably strain this too, eh? We're going to strain a little too chunky, you know, a little too thick. Switch into a bigger strainer because that was going to take us to the rest of the day. And we don't have the rest of the day. It's kind of a pain in the butt. There has, there's got to be an easier way to do this. Oh, i got an itch on my nose. Oh. Now we put it in here. There's a few books that do some acid adjusting stuff. This one's Tropical Standard by... Forgetting his name. Garrett Richard and Ben Schaefer. Uh, Brooklyn. They, what bar is it? What bar is the bar? Sunken Harbor. Been there twice. Very nice. Very tasty. So for 100 milliliters of pineapple juice, we need 3.2 grams of citric acid and 2 grams of malic acid. So we have 200 milliliters here. I have to pour a little out, but we're going to get to 200 milliliters so then we're going to add 6.4 grams of citric. You still filming? So for acid adjusting, uh, a little scale, a little Breaking Bad scale is kind of important. Um, where's my stuff that goes with my scale? We need 6.4. Should have put something down. Oh, that's 6.4. That's pretty darn close. Now we need to drop this in. 
very nicely. Oh no! I don't know what that does. Now I gotta get my malic acid. Oh! I think I suck some malic acid inside my face. So two grams of malic acid per 100 milliliters. We got 200 milliliters. We need four grammies. Four grammies. This stuff's more powdery. Let's see. Come on. See, now this is looking like something else that we won't that we won't say what it's looking like. Oh, uh, if I'm like. That's close. That's close enough. We're almost on the money. So the first time I acid adjusted... Oh, I gotta shut it off. Billy? <coughs> I gotta shut this stuff. Oh! This stuff will go airborne and then... It's not... It can't be good. So the first time I did this, it was pretty exciting because I just made a daiquiri. Because you can batch a good amount of this, and you can just make dax, pineapple dax, without squeezing any limes. So you can do this ahead of time. So we're going to mix this up until it's nice and nice. We don't want any of the good stuff. Oh, see? Some of the stuff's on the side. So yeah, today I'm thinking of uh, daiquiri and a Mai Tai. You guys got any YouTube suggestions? I feel like our YouTube videos, I don't know, they kind of stink. What'd you say? Yeah, I think we only do daiquiris. Everyone likes a dac, and they're easy. How do, what else should I do? No pineapple juice is wasted on set. Just give us a little taste. Woo! That's a lime right there. All right, let's make some drinky poos. This is the majority of my bar tools. Um, half the time stuff's in, getting washed and whatnot, but I have a good amount of shaker tins. I just, I don't know. You end up just keep buying stuff. This is my favorite jigger. This is from Pina. I don't know, I just like it. We're gonna use that. Cocktail Kingdom shakers. This is my favorite shaker, but I guess it, the other stuff's in the wash. Oh, and we're going to need a strainer. All right, let's make something uh, tasty. <laughs> I'm going to make this the same way I would make my regular deck. So I like three quarter ounces of citrus. Typically it's lime. Now it's pineapple lime. You know what I'm saying, Billy? Then we're going to need three quarter ounces of syrup, which I have. I use cane syrup. That's why mine's like... We got some floaters in there. Stuff might be almost gone. We got some uh, cane syrup. I like to use cane. I just think it makes a nicer daiquiri. Um, I'm finding a lot of bars cane syrup is two to one. I made a daiquiri at uh, the Dead Rabbit recently, and theirs was two to one. And I think that it's two to one in this book too. Oh, now we need a little rum. I like white rum. I guess you could, you know, you could use whatever rum you want. This 10 to 1 stuff's really good. It's got some funk. It's approachable and funky. So we're going to use two ounces of that. You want to add a little aged rum, all aged rum, you could do that. You could switch out your syrups. You could do like a uh, darker sh sugar syrup, like Turbinado or Demerara. Um, I don't even think a lot of... This book they do, or at Sunken Harbor, they don't even do syrup, I think, for their deck. I think they just put sugar in there. So you could do a tablespoon of sugies. What's some going on in the, behind the camera? You going to sleep? <laughs> don't be a poop and freeze your coop. We got a little coopy action in here. Got to put another coop in. Always got rock glass in there, but I always have the coops. I like to shake with one large rock. So this is straight out of the freeze. So it hasn't tempered. So, listen. No, it didn't crack. Well, normally they crack because they got a temper. This still needs to temper a little. So we do a little roll. Couple uh, 
Swiffy Slappies. Looking at a bird out there. Then we shake. You know all the Instagrammers and the, I mean, I'm an Instagrammer, but all of them, they're looking at you and smiling. It's like, no one thinks that's weird. If you're at a bar and someone's in front of you and they're just smiling at you like this, I'd be looking at my wife and I'd say, what's the problem? What's going on here? That may seem like a long shake, but it wasn't. Um, a large cube dilutes a little bit slower, so I can shake a little bit longer. So you're going to get a little bit of froth. That's it. I don't like doing... Dang, I should have put some salt in there. Ooh. Two drops of saline would have been nice, but I didn't do that. So... It's like, when do I take pictures of this crap? You gotta take a pick. But I kinda need both cocktails to take a pick. I have to make them both quick. Let me give it a little tasty. Ooh. That's a nice deck. Same brightness, same like acid as a regular deck, but with that pineapple flavor. You oh man, you could probably use like another quarter ounce of rum. But it depends on everyone's preference. Everyone likes different specs. Let me give it one little more. That slaps. Hot summer day, throw this on ice. You don't gotta serve it up in a coop. Throw it on some ice, Billy. All right, Mai Tai time. All right, now we're gonna make a Mai Tai. So this is a traditional Mai Tai, but we're gonna swap out the wine for pineapple juice and see, see what the flavors are like. See how it's doing. Little subtle changes um, can be really nice. Three quarter ounces, three, three quarter ounces, not ounce. I don't even know what I said. Orjat. So I just made a pistache orjat, but I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go with the almond, just because. I want to keep it tradish. But if you can't have almond, you can have pistache. I'm gonna go with a half ounce. Uh, usually I do like three quarters, because I usually use higher proof rums. I like the almond flavor. If you're not having the almond flavor, it doesn't. Doesn't, it's not going to have the Mai Tai vibe. The pistache is good, though. We just did the pistache. We posted that on the Instagram. So check that out, fam. Ugh. You like my, like my shirt? The Carhartt box? What's next? Oh, we're going to add some saline. Five drippies. So saline is one quarter. One, two, three, four, five... Six. Oh, that was seven. That's fine. Saline is one quarter salt, three quarter water. So 80% water, 20% salt. Is that right? Whatever. 80% water, 20% salt. Now we need orange curacao. I keep all my liqueurs down here. Come to zoom in there. The people, the good people at home like to see this. So now what I like to do is just stare at it until I find what I'm looking for and it's here. Whoa, that didn't take that long sometimes. He just, if I'm looking for it tomorrow, I just like, I'm like this for five minutes. And I'm like, I know what's here. It's like the refrigerator. Open the fridge, look for something, close the door, come back to it a couple minutes later, look again, then you find it. So that was a half ounce of orange curacao. If you don't have a curacao, you could use like the grand, an orange liqueur, Grand Marnier. Cointreau is a little light, but if you're in a pinch, now we need some rum. You could just, well, we'll go tradish. We're gonna go Jamaican, and we're gonna go with a aged um, rum agricole. So one ounce of each. I still think the best rum combo for a Mai Tai is um, Demerara and Jamaican rum. So I like to use Eldorado 12 and I like to use Appleton 12. Those aged rums, oof, 
And the longer the age, it's almost better for the Mai Tai. It's, it's a tasty treat. So I'm using Smith & Cross, a little bit higher in proof. And I'm using Rum Agricole. This is 40%, so it's a little bit low. I would like this, I'd like to see this a little higher, but the, the Smith & Cross will make up for it. Some real life, a little, little skosh, a little baboche. Um, you can get pebble ice at Chick-fil-A, Sonic, you get a bag, stuff's on its way out. We had a party, so we got a bunch of pebble ice for different stuff, oysties and stuff, but it makes it nice. If you're having a party, just go to Chick-fil-A, go to Sonic, get something good. I'm going to grab some mint outside because I need that for the garnish. A little behind the scenes. Oh, I didn't bring scissors. That's okay. Got to go to the little mint patch. Oh, this mint's... Should I go with this, or I'm going with this stuff over here. This stuff's got to get pruned. Oh, get some mint using a knife because that's what I got. I got to start pruning this mint. Prune your mint, and it'll keep growing. Every time you cut one, it'll shoot out two more things. If you let it get all stringy and crap, you're going to get, like, no mint. See how full this is? This is a pretty small patch, but I can get a whole lot of mint. Little mojitas? What kind of videos do you guys want from my YouTube? Maybe I'll stop doing cocktails altogether. Maybe I'll just start doing uh, brewery tours or something. What are you zooming in on? My muscular calves? Have everyone, look at that. Ugh! That's fat guy calf. Calf. Calf? Have some class freeze your glass. We're gonna fill this with ice actually. Ice kind of smells, but it's going to be good. This is some budget YouTube. Everyone's got their, every YouTube, it's cocktail guys, it's all woo, clean. We're not clean over here. We keep it sloppy. Shake and bake. So this is a whip shake. You just add a little bit of ice. Kind of takes a while to shake, but it's going to froth it up nice. So you're adding froth, you're adding aeration, you're getting it nice and cold. Oh, I think that's good. You don't hear the ice clanking around so much. So now we just dirty dump. We don't even need a strainer. So this is pretty much a pineapple deck. Pineapple Mai Tai, not a deck. Whoa, we gotta, we're not looking for that. I don't know where these California folks are getting their mint because I see it in the videos and on Instagram. This is some real life mint right here. That's some homegrown real life mint. Sometimes it looks a little decrepit, doesn't really take the best pictures. You take it and you disrespect it. Give it up. Give it a little tap, a little tap a -roo. All right. Ready? Stick that right there. Keep it, you know, keep it nice. Straw, you always put your straw right by the mint. So you dip your beak in the action. Nice. Man, I should have made a, I'd like to do a side-by-side -side comparison with a regular Mai Tai. The pineapple's subtle. It's not, you know, obviously there's no lime, so you're not going to get that, like, lime still has a flavor. It's not just acid. It has a nice flavor. But this is nice. You could definitely see people liking this. You could almost probably up it to one ounce of acid-adjusted pineapple and, like, lower the orgeat just a touch to uh, get a little bit more pineapple kick. You can even use pineapple rum to complement the pineapple that we have in here. So there you go, that's the YouTube for this week. Two fun drinks. Um, I don't really like, there's so much crap like making bubbles on top of cocktails and stuff and that's all cool. I don't, I'm not gonna do that myself here at home, but I like this cause it's simple. It's, it's like a simple approach that can change your drinks. A little acid, I think that's pretty cool just to make a basic DAC.
but it's not basic at all. It's a tasty treat. Chop that like button! <laughs> um, shake the subscribe button! And squeeze a comment! And if you're not following us on TikTok, there's gonna be five people that watch this anyway, so don't even worry about the TikTok. <laughs> don't worry about the Instagram. <laughs> Just watch here and see you later. Thank you. <laughs>